once again in a very exciting series meeting some of the designers who are creating a lot of buzz in the world of fashion. Today we are joined by Kato Momolu. How are you? I'm good. I'm great. So great to see you. Thank you. Thanks for having me. One of the things that's interesting is meeting this group of designers mm -hmm. and everyone has their own story and yes. it's always so interesting. Yours is especially interesting, yes. I must say. So you were born and raised in Liberia. Yes. yes. Until you were how old? I left when I was four initially. Um, you know, my parents came to the U.S. to get their master's and get their education, and then we went back. It was always like travel to get education and go back. Yes. And that was my life probably till I was about 12. And then there was like some civil unrest in the country. The teachers went on strike, so we went to Canada to go to boarding school. Me and my brothers and sisters and I were there for a few years. In boarding school, I had this really great art teacher, and we used to have to give in like these weekly journals. Um, in our sketchbook about what we felt about life. And in 11th grade, mine started slowly turning into drawing dresses and purses and shoes. And she saw something in me. I had no idea. I was just like, I'm just having fun. And she actually started to kind of nurture me a bit. So I needed that. Because, you know, I'm from this really strict African family. And in my household or in my whole life, I've never known anybody that was a designer or even creative. Like when I told my parents I wanted to be a designer, they are like, um, we're not going to pay for you to go draw all day. You know what I mean? So that was their interpretation of what design is. So I really had to kind of fight them about it. How would you describe your fashion? If someone hasn't seen it and you're describing it to them, what would you tell them? It's embracing. And I say embracing because I design for women. I'm a size 12. And, you know, most of the time in fashion, we don't see things that we think we can wear as curvy girls. And you don't have to be full size. You just have to be curvy. So my clothes definitely make you feel bold when you enter a room. Just try to find different ways to express what I love, you know, mm -hmm. texture and color and just boldness. Her technique really is about draping. Her technique really is about sort of like that feminine shape that becomes wearable for women of all sizes. When I first started, the reason I got into it is because I didn't see what I wanted to buy in the store. It wasn't there, it didn't exist. And then when it did exist, it didn't fit my body. And it made me feel like I wasn't beautiful enough and my body wasn't small enough. So being that I can be a designer, I can make things, I have a chance to change that. Instead of going somewhere and complaining all day and blogging about it, you know, I'm gonna make clothes that look fly and are expressive and colorful and vibrant and bold but they fit my body and they make me feel gorgeous in my size 12 skin. Well, Kato, I have to say you have been an absolute joy. Thank you. Thank you Thanks so for much for coming. No problem, anytime. <laughs>